Hey everyone, so I have an interesting story which links into vehicle dynamics uh, and this is an interesting one. So um, last night I went karting with a bunch of colleagues from work. It was awesome fun. We went to a place called K1 Speed in Santa Clara. Um, the unfortunate thing is that it seems like during uh, the pandemic a bunch of uh, karting places closed uh, yeah, in the Bay Area and so uh, K1 Speed was the default choice and uh, yeah it was, it was really fun um, um, and yeah you're probably uh, wondering well how, how did I do well I, I qualified second and I uh, ended up fourth in the race so uh during the race uh two colleagues um did a good job and got me uh so one uh alan passed me on the on the after the right after the start after the first corner uh i was still in the hot lapping mode um going for the best line uh whereas you know in the race uh the the you know the fastest line is not necessary no, not necessarily the best line if you're trying to defend. So yeah, lesson learned. Uh, and then later on in the race, uh, uh, Jake um, got me as well. Uh, I was trying to lap someone, uh, was being too timid probably, and, and Jake got me as well. Um, so afterwards I was, um, and, and yeah, so we, we, we actually all did pretty well. Uh, these are like the, ba uh, the best uh, lap times from the last, seven days um, and you know you can see my colleague all the way up here uh, pretty close to the uh, the best from the seven, past seven days and and I think even um, uh, so this is a track layout and uh, yeah not not that far off the tra track record like half a second from the track record um, this was the layout of the track and the so we had a beer afterwards all of us and then uh got to talking and so i was asking jeff uh, well what, what's his secret to to being um being so fast because he was uh uh let me see uh three tenths faster uh than me um and uh jeff re uh, jeff made a really uh interesting comment so he said the um, the uh, his secret is that he makes the straps a little bit loose uh, so that he can lean forward uh, in the turns. So I was thinking, ah, huh, that's interesting. Uh, because if you, if you see the, the, the picture, everybody's strapped in. And, and so, yeah, you know, uh, being the, um, uh, r you know, responsible adult that I am, I, I get myself uh, strapped in uh, nice and tight, uh, you know, safety first. Uh, I'm not thinking too much of it. Uh, but then, uh, you know, the fact that Jeff um, uh, makes his strap loose made me think about it in the vehicle dynamics terms. And, and it's a very interesting thing because like, uh, and this is, you know, a, a, uh, some slides from my, uh, from the course I made about two years ago, but uh, like, Typically, uh, if you move the uh, if you move the mass of a vehicle rearwards, uh, and if the tire you know all all other things being equal, like front and rear tires are the same, uh, then you would expect to have some oversteer. So, like the more weight you move to the rear, all other things being equal, you would have more oversteer. You wouldn't expect more oversteer. Um, moving the um, moving the weight forward, uh, but the issue I was having was that in a bunch of corners I had understeer, and the cart was hopping, and um, Jeff's tip was that he uh, makes his straps somewhat loose so that he can lean forward uh, in the cart. So, and I think that that helps not just with. Uh, um, solving the understeer issue, it also solves the issue of your arms getting super tired after a bunch of sessions. But why is that? So uh, when I thought about the, the, the way a cart corner is actually really counterintuitive and the reason is due to this solid rear axle. Um, so when you go through, and, and I've repurposed uh, a, a slide 
on differential tuning uh, from, from my course for, for this slide, but uh, I think yeah, it's a quite good application of that. So uh, imagine you, you, you turn in, you're going to turn, the outside uh, wheel has to travel a longer arc than the inside wheel. This is why on cars you have a differential, but on a cart you don't have a differential. And that means uh, with 100% lock, you know, solid rear axle, when you're trying to turn in, the inside wheel is turning faster than it wants to, and the outside wheel is turning slower than it wants to. And this means that the inside wheel is trying to push the, uh, trying to push you straight, and the outside tire is trying to pull you straight. So all, you know, all that it means is that due to solid axle, the car doesn't want to turn. Um, so what's the solution? It's actually, you, you, you have to, like Jeff says, shift your weight forward to unload the inside rear tire. This way, the inside rear tire isn't in contact with the road anymore uh, or, or, you know, very lightly loaded so that uh, it, it's not causing all this understeer. Um, so if you, if, you, if you didn't stop to think about it, that is, seems kind of counterintuitive because like in, normal, in a normal car, if you move, your, if you move the, the, the weight forwards, you will get more understeer. But yeah, in a cart, it does the opposite. Um, so yeah, I thought, I thought that was really uh, interesting. In, uh, so you know, hopefully that helps you um, in your karting adventures and battles with your colleagues. Uh, yeah, hope it was interesting. Until next time. <laughs>